So people always ask me where should I stay in Ghana and I'm gonna show you that today. Baby, baby, this girl at that no fee handle. Baby, baby, this girl at that no fee handle. Baby. I'm Vanessa Canvey and I've been coming to Ghana since I was two years old on holiday and we normally stay with family but I do know some great hotels and Airbnbs and places on booking.com where other people can stay. So this is a mid-range hotel, it's called Axis Suites and the great thing about this hotel is that it's so close to Osu which has there's bars, there's nightclubs, there's restaurants, all within walking distance of this hotel. So you actually can just walk into town. There's a koala, which is a supermarket where you can get like all your basic necessities. You can just walk there. You don't even need to get a taxi. It's, I personally love Osu to stay if you're coming to Ghana, because it's so central. So let's check it out. We serve breakfast in this area here. You can come down and have a drink in the evening. You can also have lunch here, but they don't serve dinner. There's loads and loads of restaurants within walking distance of here, so don't worry about that. It's accessed by the stairs, so make sure you note that. So this is a one bedroom apartment at Axis Suites. There's a really nice spacious area here, sit down. Relax, you know, it's actually great that there's a little kitchenette here so you can actually cook your own food. And then there's a table here, so this is good for like money savings, so you don't have to eat out every single day. will set you back between $145 to $160 a night, which is actually pretty reasonable for a craft. The plus sides of this hotel is location, room size, massive, and also the fact that you can get your breakfast at the hotel. Downsides is that there's no swimming pool and that there's stairs, so if you have any accessibility issues, then this is a no go for you. This is the Kempinski Hotel. It's definitely the most luxurious hotel that you will find in Accra. It's a five star, and Kempinski is a world renowned brand. And a lot of celebrities, when they come to Ghana, stay at Kempinski. I have stayed here for one night and it was very nice, although it's a massive hotel and that's not really my thing personally, but it is a very nice day and the breakfast was out of this world. Like the food there, even if you don't stay there, you could go there just to have a meal. The nice thing about this hotel is that it has a gallery inside called Gallery 1957 so you can just have a leisurely stroll around the gallery. There's also a whole shopping centre called Galleria which they've just opened and that's going to have a lot of designer shops. So Versace is already in there, the Versace collection. They've rented out a lot of spaces. There's going to be a nightclub there. There's going to be an Italian restaurant. So it's basically going to be a complex that if you didn't want to, you wouldn't have to leave because you could find everything within the Kempinski complex. So if you like that kind of thing, then it is probably one for you. The pool is really nice, it's a full length pool so if you want to do lengths you can do that there. Although it's pretty overlooked for sunbathing. The room's very luxurious. The location of this is close to the National Theatre and also the Art Centre. And it's also close to another hotel called Movenpick. So somewhere nice is a hostel in Accra and it's in Coco Memli which is a little bit outside of like the absolute centre of Accra 
but it's still pretty central to get into town and everywhere you need to go to. It's probably one of the most affordable properties here in Accra for tourists and we're going to check it out. I think it's like more of a, a few beds in a room situation rather than private rooms but we'll find that out. There's, there is a pool there though which is quite exciting. Then I don't want to make you to come close to me like a father and a daughter Cause skin seduction bad girl me up for your back Lay them down when I fall back to Colada Cause today I'm in the mansion of Shada Baby, oh no One must be to the nana must poison You go kill me but no so But I whine I'm boy and they do I'm wrong And they strike I'm wrong like a boy It's about $50 a night to stay here. I actually love the vibe here. I've never been here before. They've got like a little pool area there, bar. There's an events board and they've got like art painting night, karaoke, salsa night, all different things going on. Nude food festival, interesting. All different activities that people can do. And it just feels like so relaxed, loving the music. Let's have a look around. Priscilla, da 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 da. Is he a crime to Cambodia? Cambodia, oh yeah. I need somebody, oh somebody, oh yeah. Is he a crime to Cambodia? Cambodia, oh yeah. I'ma pay anything for you, baby, oh. Supposed to be your girl, I know go for your hand. Why the rain is pouring, boy? I'm longing for you. Baby, let me understand why you never date around. If one more night you go by, tell me what I for do. Oh, that baby, me so me da baby. Oh, that baby, oh, that baby. Oh, that baby, oh, that baby. I actually love this place, like I love the decor, the little touches that they have, they have black soap in the bathrooms, just feels like really authentic, really nice, relaxing and such a chilled vibe outside. This is La Villa Boutique Hotel. It's right in the heart of Osu, making it one of my firm favourites. I've stayed here numerous times and my family have stayed here as well. The staff are so friendly. It has a nice family feel about it and there's loads of lush greenery throughout the property which makes it great for insta pics. I've actually done a photo shoot in here before. The pool is really nice. It's not huge so it's not for lengths but it's nice to just dip in when you're feeling really hot on those hot days in Ghana. As it's quite a small hotel it's never overly crowded and you don't feel like if you're in the pool that there's loads of people looking at you. The food is also really great. Breakfast, lovely. The rooms are really, really fresh and modern. A lot of them are recently renovated or recently actually made because they've expanded the hotel a little bit here at La Villa. So they've got a variety of rooms at La Villa. There is, as you can see here, a sort of studio idea with a kitchenette and bedroom together. I've actually stayed in a one bedroom apartment there as well and so that had a separate living area with kitchen and separate bedroom that was really nice but they also have your normal sort of sing uh, double rooms which are also really nice as you can see. If you want a hotel, I really, really recommend this one, so check it out online.
So if you're coming to Ghana with a big group of people or with your family, I think Pearl in the City is the one for you. So the great thing about it is that not only is there the internal complex, but outside there's a pharmacy, there's Koala, the shop, which you can buy all your groceries from. There's a salon where you can get your nails done or hair done. Um, There's a barber in there as well. And then there's a really nice restaurant called Capital. And inside they have a swimming pool. They've got a kid's trampoline, outdoor play area. They've got a tennis court, a basketball court. They've got mini golf. Honestly, this is actually where I want to live. Can you hear it in my voice? This is where I want to have a flat if I move to Ghana. It's also in Cantonments, which is a really, really nice area in Accra. Labadi Beach Hotel is another luxurious hotel. It's on the beach though, which makes it special because it's got its own private beach and there's two pools, one pool where you can swim lengths, one where you can just splash around. And I stayed here with my husband last Christmas. So check out my other vlog to see more about this hotel and my trip to Ghana. Movenpick is another great hotel. What I love the most about this one is the pool. It's absolutely massive and it's a great place to go sunbathing even if you're not staying there. But the rooms are really nice and the restaurant amazing, food great. Another really good place if you want a bit of luxury. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that you find the right place to stay for you. There are so many amazing properties in Accra. I didn't cover them all, but these are ones that I have experience of or I know people that have stayed there that have had positive experiences. And I would be so grateful if you would hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notifications when I upload a video. Just now I'm doing a series on Ghana so I have a lot of Ghanaian content coming up weekly because that is what I'm passionate about. So please subscribe and check out my other videos. I've got a whole playlist of videos from Ghana as well. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.